Hello, everyone, and welcome to the embodiment practice for the full moon in Aries, September 29th. And this is the moon we've been waiting for. Ah, it's kickoff time. So yes, we had the new moon in Virgo, and that initiated the beginning of a new cycle. And we also had seven celestial bodies in retrograde. Now we have Mercury coming out of retrograde, supporting us in taking the ideas and the structure and the processes that we got really super clear on two weeks ago and putting them into action. You know, Aries loves action. Like that could be the mudra. Yeah, <laughs> it loves action. It wants to go forward. It wants to manifest. It wants to focus. So in all the ways that you are ready or the ways you're not ready, but particularly in the ways you have been lining your ducks in a row, bam, it's go time, sister. And so I want to really empower you with the energy of go. Now I want to empower you with focus and go <laughs> because like anything, if we get distracted, if we are, our drishti, our third eye gaze is off, off on all these bright, shiny objects, we will miss our aim. We will miss our target. But chances are, if you're doing these videos and you're following along, then you already know that for the last two weeks, you've been clearing out, cleaning up, tidying up, shoring up the leaks so that you can full blast forward. So let's do that together. Let's just embody that beautiful energy in a, in a year that we've had so much starting and stopping, so much pivoting, so much newness. Now we're finally like, okay, I'm getting my groove. I'm seeing who I am. I am authentic because I've said no to all the things that are not me anymore. They served me to get here. And now I have a deeper, clearer sense of who I am and where I'm going. And my structure supports that, right? So let's carry with us also this beautiful sun energy from Libra. So Libra sun and the full moon is opposite in this Aries. And that also is our north node in Aries. So we're being directed now. And let's be, as we carry that Libra energy, let's carry it from the heart because it's relational energy. It's so that we can be who we really are. And that'll attract the new tribe, the new community, the new job, the new partnership, or an expanded, elevated version of what you've had. So let's take our energy, like, like, like we're going to be kind of like a bursting sun. So take all of your energy and put it in your clamped fists. You can see the whites of my knuckles because I'm really, really clamping my fists. And then we're just going to burst forth. So let's take all of that energy and imagine this is all your preparation, all the work you've been doing, the step-by-step, -step, the, the meeting of yourself in the middle of the night when you didn't think you had the confidence or what it took and you just wrestled with yourself. And here you are now. Things have come into place. They've come into earth energy with Virgo. And Mercury being here with Virgo direct is saying, okay, sister, are you ready? And so on the count of three, we're going to burst forth. One, two, three. That just feels really good. How does that feel for you? And then let's kind of like do our chopping exercise that I referenced at the beginning, like like this is the rubber meets the road. This is the rubber meets the road. What are you done with? What are you focusing on? This is a clear, this like line is clear. It wants to go in a direction. So what are you focusing on? <laughs> so we have both of them together. Our outburst, like our 
are just our bigness and the clarity that we are going somewhere. That's our mudra for today. Enjoy your full moon activation energy, and I'll see you on the next video.